So in a previous episode, I made a Maryland style crab cake. So today, I'm going to do going with a more Latino flavor profile and serving them as mini uh, crab cakes with a chili mayo. So I've heated up some butter in a skillet, and what I'm going to put in there is just a cup of finely diced shiitake mushrooms, and I'm going to add to that a half a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of ground cumin, that in there too. Okay, then I've got, um, this is a quarter teaspoon of white pepper, and I've got just an eighth of a teaspoon of nutmeg. You really want to be careful with nutmeg. You don't want to put too much in there. So this is going to cook until I've cooked all of the water out of those mushrooms. This is going to take a little bit of time. Um, in the meantime, while that's go going, I'm going to make the mayo. So I'm starting with a half a cup of store-bought mayo and I'm adding a teaspoon to that of, of, of a medium hot chili powder and then put that in there and then I've got a little bit of salt only only a quarter of a teaspoon of salt I have got a, a, a half a teaspoon of lime juice and a half a teaspoon of Chardonnay vinegar and then a teaspoon of mustard powder okay right, I'll put that in there and then that just gets mixed up and that's all there is to that little chili mayo. So that's just going to sit and wait for the crab cakes to be done. So like I said, the mushroom has to cook, all the water has to cook out. So uh, we'll come back once these mushrooms are cooked. I'm back and the mushrooms are done. So now I'm going to add them to the crab here. Let's put them in here and just so I make sure I get all that good spice off of the bottom of the pan. I'm actually going to take some of that crab and rub it on the pan to make sure I get all that spice because that is the seasoning. What went on the mushrooms is the seasoning for the crab cakes. So I got that in there and now I'm going to add my egg. One beaten egg. Now um, when I broke up the crab a little bit and I sort of needed to do that because um, you know, that it's going to make these mini crab cakes, and so uh, I'm going to make sure that they form up. If the crab, the lumps are too big, it won't do that. So now I just take my scoop, okay, and I take a nice big scoop of each of these, and I'm going to form them into a ball, and then press them down. All right. So what I and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make all of these now, and then what I'll do is I'm going to put them in the fridge because they're going to need to set up a little bit otherwise when I try to cook them they're just going to fall apart. So uh, that's going to take about 15 or 30 minutes and then we'll be back. Alright so I'm cooking the uh, crab cakes, these little mini crab cakes now um, and you might have noted that I did not put any binder in here. Like, there's no bread crumb or anything. The only thing that's holding these crab cakes together is the egg and there's kind of a reason for that because this is this is gluten free so it's kind of a nice little thing they I can make a gluten free crab cake now the reason they're mini crab cakes is because quite frankly with just egg as the binder if you try to make them big they're just not going to hold together even these have a challenge to stay in one uh, piece so I've got them, it's medium to medium high, it's in a neutral oil, I put them in there and then I kind of press them a little flat down there and I'm going to brown them, I'm going to get brown them on both sides and they're going to then, that's just, just going to be enough if I'm careful with them for them to stick together. So uh, we're going to let these cook, I've already got some ready to go and then we're going to have Donna give them a taste. All right, so Donna has joined me now, and I have one of the ones that I cooked earlier. Um, not that much earlier, just a batch right before this one. I'm going to put some of that chili mayo on top for her, and I'm going to let her go ahead and taste that one while I go through the process of flipping these other ones here. You know, there are a few things that I like better than a pile of crab. Yeah. And so you'll see, like you said, that they don't really like to hold together, but you know the egg is just enough of a binder that they can hold together. 
Yeah, wow. And a little different flavor, too, from your standard old right. day. No, no, I went yeah. to the, this was my, as I said earlier, in the, I said I was going to go with a more of a Latino flavor. Yeah. So this is trying more like like Mexican style or yeah, something. Yeah, but it's good. It doesn't overpower the crab. It's right. a, it got a, just a little tinge of heat. So okay, good. Yummy. Yeah. So um, and then like I said, you could keep this. You could, if you want to have a little something else with it, and you want to keep it uh, gluten free, start with rice crackers. Mm -hmm. Rice crackers would be great. So um, I'm gonna finish cooking these. Donna's gonna finish eating that, and we're gonna both finish eating a bunch of them. <laughs> And um, we'll see you next time.